Hi, my name is Alistair Cotton and I am the Quality Manager here at Ross. Firstly, I'd like to thank you for purchasing the Ross Free-to-Air Satellite System. With the aid of the instruction manual which is in your packaging, plus this video, you'll be able to understand how to assemble the satellite dish correctly, how to mount the satellite dish correctly, and also how to set up the satellite receiver. Once the ROS system is fully installed, you'll be able to view many hours of free-to-air viewing, high-quality pictures at no added cost. So, let's begin. Firstly, we should do a quick inventory check to make sure that all of the required parts are included in the packaging. Here is an explanation of some of the technical jargon which you will find useful. Now that we've explained some of the technical jargon that you'll need, you can start to install the kit. Next, we'll look at assembling the satellite dish. This is a fairly straightforward process. However, care must be taken when setting the polarization of the LMB during its installation. We're also going to be looking at the elevation of the dish and for this we'll be using this plate, the elevation plate. We'll be using the markings on the side of the plate but these are only used as a rough guide. The values that you need to set your elevation to and later your azimuth will depend on which satellite you want to receive from. Most UK high definition viewers will receive their signals from the Astra Euro 1 satellite and you can locate this by adjusting your satellite dish and using side A of your marker plate. The specific locations for UK customers can also be found on the alignment setting leaflet which is included in your Ross packaging. For a more precise location you can also go to www.dishpointer.com here, Mark is demonstrating how to mount the LMB onto the bracket, making sure that the front of the LMB is pointing towards the dish. The polarisation of the LMB will be set next. The easiest and simplest method for this is to consider the dish as a clock face and the F connector to be turned to 8 o'clock. After this, we now start, need to start to consider how we're going to mount our dish onto the wall. The dish must be placed on a south southeasterly facing wall. When mounting the bracket, you must ensure that you drill into the brickwork and not into mortar. Aligning the dish will ideally be checked using a compass. However, roughly aligning it with other satellite dishes on your neighbouring houses would also be a good start. Next, we're about to install the digital coaxial connector. This will take the signal from the dish to the receiver. This may require drilling a hole in an exterior wall, so care must be taken. Notice that Mark is now connecting the F connector to the LMB. He is then securing the weatherproof boot over the joint. And at this point, it's a good idea to connect the coax cable to the bracket and then fix it to the wall with the clips. The cable ties and cable clips are provided in your box. There are multiple outputs and inputs available to you depending on which receiver you've bought or even which television. The preferred connection for the Ross receiver is a HDMI cable. This is the easiest form of connection. Things may vary slightly if you've got one of our SD receivers. In this case, try cycling through the sources on your TV until you get to the correct channel. If you're still unsure, then the best thing to do is to switch off the receiver and switch it back on again until you get the Ross logo. 
to select the satellite, go into the menu and select antenna settings. The important thing to look for here is the satellite name and the scan mode. Typically, if you're after free to air English language channels, the satellite choice you want is Astra Euro 1 or Astra 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D. Then if you go down to the bottom of the screen, you want the scan mode of FTA plus NIT. This is now the final stages of installing your satellite dish. This is a two man job. Ideally, you want one man on the inside looking at the quality indicators while the other man on the outside is slowly moving the azimuth from left to right. It's very important that you only move the azimuth in very small steps. This is really all the movement that is required. The quality bar seen on the menu here is what you're looking for. As you get closer to a better alignment, the figure will increase. Ideally, you're looking for a figure above 50%. It's now time to start scanning for the channels. Pressing the red button on your remote will start the scan. This may take some time, but after completion, you're ready to exit the menus and start enjoying all of the available channels. With the aid of this video, you should now successfully set up your Ross satellite kit. If you're still having problems, please feel free to call our help desk. The telephone number is on the screen now.